guys happy monday welcome back to the vlog i just wanted to vlog a few days maybe one or two honestly i don't really know how many but are you saying hi to the vlog you say hi thank you baby kiss i'm gonna film a work week but i'm just not in the headspace to do that it's two o'clock um and thank you guys all for your sweet wishes on my last video about having to interview for my permanent job it was really appreciated a lot of anxiety about it and with talking about work so much on here i just wanted to talk about it because it is normal and i completely understand that it's like an hr policy to do it but it really is going to be like very anxiety inducing next few weeks so my manager's gonna email me this week with a time to interview and then obviously she has to interview everyone and then hire someone um so she said she's gonna let me know as soon as she can because my contract is up march 31st and i don't know i feel like i have this like feeling like this guilt that i shouldn't be anxious because i have a job to go back to but i obviously really do enjoy this job and like i don't want to go back to what i was doing before if i don't have to and so i just like feel all this anxiety and worry and i know that like what's meant to be will be and like if this job is not meant to be mine it's not and there'll be something better out there but especially with like buying a house and stuff it's just extremely stressful and i'm so anxious and i just feel like it's not gonna get any better for the next few weeks but i'm trying to make the most of the day the weather is super mild here so i can feel a migraine coming on so i had a coffee because coffee really helps my migraines like chill out but then it just made my anxiety worse so welcome to the vlog it's a really rough start this week um but i want to be just super real with you guys i'm just i just feel like i'm really second guessing myself a lot and like having imposter syndrome like if i really deserve to be in this role and you know obviously it helps that i'm already in the role and i already know the role and i know that there's things that i can work on there's things everyone can work on in their job but i'm just so anxious about it but i just need to leave it to life i just need to leave it to the universe and i wrote down a bunch of interview questions and i want to practice and i feel like i'm someone who i interview very well like no, i'm not bragging i'm just I've, i'm just like pretty chill and i interview well but i want to interview extremely well for this one so i already wrote down like things i want to say and i'm going to practice and really take the things that my manager has given me to work on and use those and so yeah welcome to the vlog um i think it's just gonna be today and tomorrow or something but like i said it's two i'm really excited because lanny's merch is dropping at three and i'm gonna get a crew neck and support her i'm not like usually big into merch but i obviously want to support her the podcast came back today so that's exciting my episode with lily just went up so it's been a great day and i booked to spin at six because it just always helps me feel a bit better so i also filmed a video today and so my videos for the week are good and ready to go and yeah, I think I'm waiting for some packages to come, um, but that's that. I am just taking like a little lunch break from work right now. I've just been really, really busy, and I feel like I'm gonna burn myself out in the next few weeks because I'm trying extra super hard to show like how great I am, so I'm like staying late and taking on more than I can handle, and I just need to be myself and yeah but anyways i wanted to talk to you guys about that because i know i film obviously a lot of like work vlogs and stuff and i just thought i owed it to you guys to just be honest about how i'm feeling about work and whatnot and i'm like welcome to the vlog i hope you guys stick around even though i just spent the first like three minutes of the vlog ranting <laughs> how are you feeling today are you having a good day did you go for a walk with daddy and grandma was it so fun this is my outfit if you're wondering this is obviously why i'm buying one of lanny's crew necks because i just live in them but i'm wearing this disney crew neck and then some gray spots we're really looking cute today just ordered my merch and i'm so excited i'll show you guys what it looks like can we just talk about her website and how beautiful it is i love it because i like merch that doesn't have like people's names on it like it's just so cute and obviously i want to support my friends so i bought it i'm really excited i'll have everything linked down below she was also on the podcast so i'll link that episode too but yeah i'm so excited to get this lighting is so trash today but i'm feeling a lot less anxious now which is really really good i feel like something that something i've been really trying to work on and i think is really important that a lot of people probably struggle with is like my work boundaries I not explain this but i'm really trying to work on not letting my job have emotional power over me and i don't mean that in a bad way that like my job shouldn't make me happy or anything because it does but sometimes i think i get too emotionally in fact I, I think sometimes I get too emotional about work so let's say I have a meeting with my manager and she's like hey can you work on this I will like take that super personally instead of just working on it um 
and I feel like working a nine to five that like my job defines my self worth. Um, and I was watching a TikTok and this girl was saying how your job is what you do. It's not who you are. And I really want to work on that because I could easily just like let this anxiety take over my body for the next few weeks until I find out if I get the job. But like, what's that going to do? Like, I'm just going to be miserable all the time, right? Like, yes, it's okay to be worried, but you know, I'm going to do my best and that's all that matters. And my job is not who I am. I am not defined by my job. I don't know if it's true. But I heard the new Starbucks drinks are dropping in Canada tomorrow and I just DM'd my Starbucks to ask them if it's true. And if it is, we're going to be going tomorrow morning to go get one because I really want to try this. I'm not sure how I like it because you guys know I don't like sweet coffee. So like oat milk, brown sugar, Americano. Like the oat milk Americano part sounds good, but I'm not sure about the brown sugar, so we'll have to see. Um, but yeah, so that's like my little update and I'm feeling obviously a lot better and... Yeah, I just really wanted to tell you guys about that because it is just really, anyways, it's just something I wanted to talk about because sometimes you really just like need to hear from someone else and it's something I really need to work on and yeah, that's that. I'm so excited to go to spin. I wonder what I'm going to wear. Vlog in our room more because our room has really good lighting, but I'm super excited. I just got a really exciting package. A sweet subscriber of mine named Megan actually works for this like leather goods company. They make like purses and wallets called Andar. And she reached out and asked if she could send me something and I was like, that's so sweet. Um, so they sent over their wallet, which I'm really excited about because you guys are like really minimalistic wallets and like very simple wallets. Um, so she wrote me this cute little note. <laughs> And I wanted to show you guys. This obviously isn't sponsored or anything. I just really wanted to show you guys because I know a lot of you guys really liked my previous wallet I had gotten because it was so small. Um, so it comes with a nice keychain, which I love wallets. You can just like stick on your key. So I'm really excited about this. I appreciate the very minimal packaging. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's called the Denner. I love the packaging. It's so cute. Code if you guys want to use it. Um, and I will link them down below, but how cute is this? I love how small it is, but this is what it looks like. Wow. I love it. It's very small. I feel like I can never find wallets that I can clip onto my keys. So let's put this on here. Oh my gosh. This is perfect. So nice. Like this is a bit thicker too. And it says, I don't know if you can see it, but it says their brand right there. This, this is amazing. I'm so excited. I'm going to put my stuff in it and use it. So fun. But it's currently four. I just finished work for the day, but I've spent at 6.15, but I have to run some errands first. I'm going to probably leave. I'm trying to think. And does anyone else do this? You're like, okay, it spins at 6.15, so I need to be there at 6.10, which means I need to leave my house at like 5.50, which means if I want to go to Plato's, it's like 10 minutes and the post office is 10 minutes. So I should probably leave around five. <laughs> does anyone else do that and try and go like backwards? So I think I'm going to leave around, I think I'll leave around five. And then if I'm just early, I'm early, I can sit in my car. But that's so fun. What a fun little unboxing to like end the day off because it wasn't the greatest start to the day. But that's fun. I also just posted my Instagram story trying to like find someone who can tell me if these Starbucks drinks are coming to Canada tomorrow because I really want to try them. That's that. So I think I'm going to go downstairs and relax with Matt for a little bit before I get ready for spin and figure out what I'm going to wear. You can probably hear Matt playing video games. I'm sorry, but... It's been out for the night. Who's surprised? I'm wearing my Ebb to Train bra. This is like probably my favorite bra ever. Um, it's definitely like medium. Oh, I need to wash this. Um, I just really like it. It fits me really well. Obviously, it fits the ladies. And I just really, really like it. I need to get it in some more colors. Um, it's great. And then these are the in movements that are discontinued. I feel like that's all I wear. Um, but invigorates and all those things fast and free are similar but and I just find the movements the most flattering also are those baby abs popping out who knows um but that's my spin outfit and then I'll just put like a crew neck on or something and then like I said I'm gonna get out of the house and run errands in the car I have to take my makeup off obviously because I'm going to spin but it's 4 30 and we're gonna run a bunch of errands and I'm so excited because I've just been waiting to run errands you know like I have to go to Old Navy Return Sports Bra I have to drop some clothes off at Play-Doh's and the package to the post office like I'm just so excited to be out and about like it feels kind of normal you know I brought a Simply for a tumor as always some water and yeah so I think we're gonna start 
at like Old Navy and make our way back. So that's my plan. I'm gonna eat this on the go. And it's like spring weather outside. It's like, to be a productive adult, Matt's getting wings with the boys tonight. So I have the house all to myself. I'm so pumped, so pumped. Nobody asked me for my favorite podcast, but it is indeed Fridays at five. Um, other podcasts I love, Middle Ground, my own, obviously. Uh, I love Julia's podcast, Michelle Reed. Basically all the ones that come out on Mondays are my favorite. Landy's podcast, all, all that, you know? But these are some other ones I listen to, obviously Lily. And then I really like Disney ones, and then I really like this Deeper Than Money one. So that's my favorite podcast. Let's get it. It's five, I've spent 6.15, it's like a 20 minute drive, so I'm just kind of staying around this area because um, they said my stuff would be ready in like 30 minutes, so I'm just kind of like sitting and waiting, just because I'd rather not come back to this area if I don't have to, because it's just like out of the way. So I went to Old Navy to return my stuff, and naturally, this is the deal. I had super cash to use and it expired. So, I basically didn't spend anything because I had a return. Um, I'm just kidding, that's not how it works, but it made me feel better. So, I'm, like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. It's definitely out of my comfort zone, but I want more, like, just comfy sweaters at home. So I got this, it's like a super soft pink sweater, and I got an extra large, and it was on clearance for, and it was on clearance for $17, so we love that, and it's an extra large. Then I had to have $25 or more to use my super cash, so I was like, crap, I need to grab something. So I got these shorts, they were 17 bucks. They're sleep shorts, but you guys know I struggle with sleep shorts, especially airy ones. So I got these ones, and I don't know, they're just super cute, they're very, very soft, and they're kind of, I don't really know, they're like, have like little slits I don't know I'll try them on later and see because I feel like PJ shirts are so hard for me to find because I'm so tall so these are really cute and I'll try them on for you guys later when we get home but yeah I just feel like I wear the same black cardigan every day so I was like let's just grab this one and it's like a cute fun spring color for Instagram so hey guys I just got home at 7 42 and I stopped at the grocery store Matt went out for wings with the guys tonight, so I stopped to like get my own wings because I thought they'd be yummy. But then they didn't have boneless wings, so I decided to get dinosaur chicken nuggets. And then I went to like the bougie one, and I found this, and I got it to try plant-based Alfredo. I usually like to make my own sauces, but I mean, it didn't have soy in it, so I was like, why not? Like that's gonna be great if when Matt goes back to work this week and I'm just eating something quick. And then I've been wanting to try this for forever. It's just the Nutty Dips queso-based one. I haven't tried it, but we'll grab a chip and try it, and then. This is like a long story, but do you ever have like a thing with your significant other? Like ours is scones. Every time we go to like a coffee shop, we get scones. And I always try and surprise Matt with scones when I go out. And they were 50% off because it's late. So I'm going to make some dinner now, but this is my random haul. I just took my Siete chips to try this. And it tastes like seven layer dip, you guys. It's so good. Oh my God, this is amazing. People of the internet. Do we think Doritos actually have real cheese in them? Asking for a friend but I'm just curious and then I eat them regardless but it was the best flavor hi guys good morning happy Tuesday it's 11 o'clock and I just got out of a meeting I got ready for the day because I need to shoot an Instagram picture for a brand so badly like a few but today I woke up and I had this like grand idea to get up early before work and go and get Starbucks and try the new menu and surprise Matt with Starbucks. But when I woke up, it was minus 31 degrees Celsius, which is minus 23 Fahrenheit. And I was like, F to the no. So here we are. We're just at home and we're going to go in a little bit um, to go and grab some coffee. We go and get that. And we're really excited about that. Also, I'm wearing my new card again from Old Navy. Isn't it cute? I feel so springy. Um, but yeah, good morning, guys. I'm really excited to get the new Starbucks and it's gonna be a great day. I just wanted to pop on and say good morning. I'm feeling a lot less anxious than yesterday. I'm in like a way better mood today. Just wanted to tell you guys that in case you're wondering. Um, so good morning, good morning. I just uploaded a new video so I'm gonna answer comments. It's always my favorite part of the day. Not the best at actually trying on the things I say I'm gonna try on, but these are the shorts. I really like them, especially as a tall person, they fit really well. I just like, I like them, I don't love them. The only reason being is like, there's like this random like cut up and it's like very close to you know like it's just like I don't know but they're cute they're definitely like nice little like PJ short um so yeah I haven't decided if I'm gonna keep them yet I like them I don't love them I don't think um but like also I don't have any like soft PJ shorts so I might keep them I don't know decisions decisions but I'm really vibing with this cardigan I did get it in an XL though so it is a bit oversized but who can say no to a pink cardigan on clearance? 
not meats order and see what we're gonna do you guys know i don't like my drink super sweet so i'm gonna show you guys how i'm gonna order it okay so i think it, okay i'm gonna get a venti mm, maybe i should just get a grande as i want i'll just do a grande i guess and then i'm just gonna do it half sweet and that's how we're gonna do it we just got back from our little starbucks run i already t tried it it tastes like Quaker brown sugar oatmeal, but in the best way, I think because it's oat milk. It's so good. It's crazy how much it tastes like brown sugar. And then we also just got, oh my gosh, I've never had this cookie before. We got a cookie because it was new. Oh my God, my camera's We got the funfetti cookie. It's so cute, babe. Mm -hmm. Ready? Look at it. That's so cute. It's like a little cookie. Just a little cookie. It has... One for the pieces in it. The cookie was meant for me. I forgot to get Stella Puppuccino at Starbucks, so I just made her one. Here is your Puppuccino. Sit. There you go. I'm obviously going to go put my sweatpants back on, but a little fit check. Ray-Bans. My jacket is Shein. Um, turtleneck is Eclipse. And Old Navy jeans. But I'm going to go put sweatpants back on because this was just for the outing. You go, you know? Who got her the toy? How long is she been drinking that toy? Like 20 minutes? 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finally getting around to eating lunch. It's almost four and I'm done work, but I'm having dino nuggets and a green juice. Child adult type. It's just the way it goes. Green juice today is um, celery, green apple, ginger, spirulina because I didn't have any cucumber. But alrighty, guys, I just got a package in the mail from Bailey Nelson. I'm working with them on an Instagram picture, and I'm really, really excited. Um, and yeah, let's see. I don't even remember which ones I picked, but let's let's see them. I'm also currently eating a frozen freezy. Throw back to summer. Matt thinks I'm so weird because I eat cold stuff in the winter. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love the cake. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I just want like variety in my glasses. So these are called the Wells and I got them in like a tortoise color. I just think they're so pretty. Okay, ready? I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull them off, but they're cute. I think they're so cute. Do you guys like them? I won't be offended if you say no, but I just think they're like a nice little switch up, you know? Thank you, Bailey Nelson, if you're watching this. Stay tuned for a cute little Instagram picture. I, anyways, you guys know 2021 is the year of me going out of my comfort zone, so I'm really excited about that. Also, my anxiety was so bad yesterday that I was applying to a bunch of jobs because I was literally convinced that like, I was having imposter syndrome that I wasn't going to get my job. And I think this is important to talk about. But now all these jobs are emailing me to interview, and I'm like, oh my god, what do I do? And my dad has always told me that even if you're in a job that you love and pay well, you should always be on the lookout for new jobs just because it is really great to interview and that way you just don't lose those skills. Like you can, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I applied to a bunch of jobs and I have like four interviews next week, which isn't a bad thing. Like I love my job, but it's really good for me to get experience interviewing and stuff. So Matt took self for a walk while I finished up work. I think I told you guys I'm recording a podcast at six. And yeah, 